Hello, Scott Thomas here with Stewardship Matters. Whacked financial advice over the radio. So I'm listening to the radio and this guy comes on and he's calling in to this national guru financial advice person. The guy's 35 years old and he says, I'm 35, I just got a raise. I now make 150,000 a year. I'm a single dad and I tried to get some life insurance. And so I tried to go buy some 20 year term life insurance as the financial guy had recommended. And he was turned down by one company and another company said, well, at 35, we'll do this for $400 a month. <laughs> That's pretty expensive. Um, the financial host, the guru, um, said, well, what did they say the terms and the conditions were? What was the situation? Asked him a few questions that were rather personal over the airwaves. Uh, he just said the information and he said, well, I think my solution for you is simply to um, just buy half of that. Pay $200 and get $750,000 of 20 year term and, and that's your solution. So thank you for calling today. I'm sitting there thinking, this is crazy. So he didn't ask this gentleman, who works for a large corporation, by the way, um, that was mentioned, and he, he didn't ask him, do you have access to um, employer insurance? Maybe it's on a, um, a limited underwriting basis or a guaranteed issue. Oftentimes you can get two to five times your income. Well, that could be three hundred to 750000 at healthy person's rate. Didn't ask him that question. He also didn't ask a lot of other things. So part of the problem is that when you get on the radio, you can't talk about the really personal stuff. There's not enough time. The person that's answering the question that has the issue, they don't have all the resources in front of them. It's, they're just grasping at things. They're not addressing taxes. They're not addressing family dynamics or the legal. There's a whole lot of pieces that aren't working here. Well, let me tell you something else that was missed that was very obvious to me and anybody that's experienced um, would have caught this. There's a group called Substandard Underwriters. These people are miracle workers. If you have a situation and let's say you had diverticulitis, let's say you had a heart murmur, let's say you were, had an occupation that was unusual that had some risk to it, the Substandard Underwriters know where to find exactly who is the company that will take this risk on or group of companies and do it at a very reasonable price. I've had people who have been turned down. I took it to the substandard underwriters and they were able to work miracles and get standard non-rated insurance for these people. That was a question that should have been asked. It should have been addressed and it wasn't. Instead, it was, well, just get half and maybe you'll get better later was the response. Maybe you'll get healthier later and then you can go apply for some more coverage. So um, really important that when you get advice that you're actually talking to somebody with experience. This person was um, obviously a very good storyteller. This person was very good at entertaining and that's really what the radio is about. It's about entertainment factor. It's not about the quality of the advice. So um, if you'd like to have quality advice, you'd like to have a conversation with somebody with three decades of experience in dealing with all kinds of issues, reach out to me, Scott at stewardshipmatters.net.